What up guys, and in this video, super simple, and I'm also going to include, if you watch all the way to the end, a video focusing test on how you change your focusing modes within your Nikon Z50. This also applies for your Z6, your Z7, and your Z5s as well. First things first is you want to go into your, obviously your focusing different types of of focusing modes and within Nikon there are as you can see here four different focusing modes you have your manual focus you have your full-time auto servo your continuous auto focus and your single AF or AFS so AFS is mainly used for photos meaning if you have pressed the shutter you'll have the beep beep and whatever that your focus points selected or the camera itself selects, have pressed the shutter and that is the single focus point that it will focus on, hence single AF. Autofocus continuous is that the actual subject or the, the camera itself will track, but you have to always keep pressing the half shutter button so then the camera will actually know what to track. And if you're for video and you're using a Z series camera, Full-time AF or AFF is the mode that you want to go for if you shoot videos. And last but not least, manual focus is you'll be doing your manual focus pose and everything yourself you're focusing with the focus ring. But now I'm going to show you guys how you change your focusing modes and speed. So this really took me quite some time to figure out as the obviously you can see that you can change your focus modes within the menu. Like I already said, single AF, continuous AF, full-time AF. But if you're looking for how you change the speeds, it's actually not in the movie shooting menu, which is a little confusing. It's under the pencil menu here, which is their custom setting menu. You want to go down all the way to movie. Now you have found the jackpot. There's two options you want to look for when it comes to recording video and autofocusing speeds. You have your autofocus speed. So right now I have it at the, the lowest sensitivity so I can show you guys what it looks like with the lowest sensitivity. I'll also show, show you guys at neutral or zero and I'm going to also show you guys at the fastest AF speed. I'm also going to show you the tracking sensitivity. So how it's going to track the autofocus. So I'm going to show you at seven, which is low, show you at four and I'm going to show you at the highest autofocus tracking sensitivity. I'm gonna go back here. And the cool thing about having the autofocus speed and how sensitive it is, it, you're essentially controlling how fast you want the camera to do like almost the fake focus pull. And you can also choose when to apply. You can only apply this when it's in recording or you can apply this overall to have it always do this. So now I'm gonna show you what the actual autofocus speeds look like and the difference between the two. So first I'm gonna show you guys with everything at the lowest, everything in the middle, and everything at the fastest speed and fastest tracking sensitivity. And now you guys know how to change your autofocus speed within any Z series camera. So right now I am recording in terms of my video settings, one over 50, 3.5 aperture, ISO at 200 and my autofocus settings are set at the lowest sensitivity as well as the lowest tracking speed. I'm gonna step out of frame, come back into frame, stepping out of frame, back into frame. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the exact same camera settings and then I'm gonna change my autofocusing tracking and sensitivity both to zero, so right at the default settings that the camera comes with and I'll see how that looks. Now I am with my sensitivity at AF speed four and my tracking sensitivity to zero and this is how it looks like and how it's tracking my face. Out of frame, back into frame, 
out of frame. Back into frame. Out of frame. See how that tracks? Because right now I do have face detection on and the Z50 does have animal eye detection with the new firmware. But with video, it does not have video eye AF. So right now it just has face detection and the square is over my face. As you can see, as I move it, it's tracking me completely fine. And it's pretty snappy. With these settings, I personally, when I filmed the video with this, with test footage so far, that I'm leaving it on the fastest setting, was I'm gonna show you guys next. But this is at autofocus speed four with sensitivity zero. So back, and then going forward. And now guys, I'm gonna show you my last and final autofocus speed. Now guys, I am on autofocus speed five and autofocus tracking sensitivity one, AKA I have the highest sensitivity for autofocus on both of the settings and this is what it looks like. So I'm walking up, going a little closer, backing away, going focus, going faster, going away, going left, can't trail. See how fast it can track my movements if I move faster or slower. If I move really slow, can it track me and how smooth is that focus? That's what I want to see in post editing, post production. And last but not least, Spider-Man test. Now you see Peter Parker, now you see Peter. Now you see Peter Parker, now you see Peter. Now you see Peter Parker, now you see me. And that guys, that was my autofocus test on my lowest to my highest sensitivity all on my Nikon Z50. And now, do you guys think that you can use Nikon for video, especially when it comes to autofocus? I think Nikon is finally in the right direction. And as you can see now, I think you can start considering using the Z50, the Z6, the Z7, and you can stop worrying about autofocusing. Let me know what you guys think if you watched all the way to the end of this video. Let me guys know what you think of the autofocusing. Is it good? Is it so-so? Would you even consider getting a Nikon for a video in the future? Now with their mirrorless lines, now they can able to compete with the Fujis and the Sonys and the Canons. Do you think they have a chance? If you watched this far, smash that thumbs up. And my name is Peter. Grab my free camera guide to help you out on your content creation journey. And you're watching Broke Vision Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.